Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we'll be doing loot from 10 hours of Brutal Black Dragons, as you may have been able to tell by the title of the video. Today this is the gear we'll be using. No, I don't have the new backpack. I kind of wish I did. It looks nice with Masori. Anyways, we also don't have the new ring because we're poor. Never mind the twisted bow. This will be the inventory. We'll have the Xerox talisman to get there. And the construction cape to bank, and then come back to Castle Wars. Also have the pool in the house to get our prayer and stuff back, so prayer potion is just in case. And uh, let's get to it. All right, so brutal, brutal black dragons. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that. They were released back when Corin came out, and I believe they did not have a Slayer requirement at the time. And they actually dropped the Dragon Full Helm, I believe, for a short period of time. But there was like a large influx of them coming into the game. I think the drop rate was like 1 in 32,000 or something like that. It was the same as the Mithril Dragons. But uh, people were obviously able to kill them a much easier than the Mithril Dragons. So that was later changed. And I think there was an issue with bots or something. I don't really know the reason behind the... 77 slayer requirement in order to kill them but uh, that was added back in july of 2017 i think don't quote me uh, these can also drop what is it the dragon javelin heads if you've completed monkey madness 2 sometimes i forget about that also you can get dark totem pieces ancient shards which i've got a ton of and this dragon, just like the rest of the brutal, brutal dragons, aside from the green one, can drop the Draconic Visage at 1 in 10,000, which unfortunately is only like 2.5 mil now. I remember back when that thing was like 30 mil, and it was like the best shield in the game. It was before Corporal Beast was released. There was no brand exchange. It was just the Wild West out there. Those are pretty fun times, if I'm honest with you guys. Anyways, while I was making this video, I realized I saw a lot less people than I did, I don't know, maybe a couple years ago. I feel like there's less alts here, probably less of Venezuelan gold farmers, not sure. But it seemed to be pretty good money still, so can anyone tell me why there's less people here? Is everyone just doing other things, or maybe it's the, maybe Rune Dragons is like the new alt that everybody uses? Let me know if you guys alt, and if you do, let me know what you do with those alts, because I do have another account, and I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. But with that aside, the regular drops from here are pretty good. I want to say they're probably around 25 to 30k each, and you can get a good amount of resources here, lots of alkables, some runes. They also drop dragon arrow tips, along with a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up these 10 hours. This has probably gone by extremely fast for you. So let's go straight into the loot. All right, and that is 10 hours of Brutal Black Dragons. Now let's see what we got. 12 mil. That's not too bad. That's 1.2 mil an hour at Brutal Blacks. I think that's pretty solid. I don't know why I didn't see a lot of players here that I know I mentioned that earlier, but there just weren't a lot of alts there. There weren't a lot of people camping brutal blacks. I saw a couple people there with their twisted bows, a couple people that were on task, but they used to be super crowded and they're not anymore. Maybe someone can tell me why are there better methods or is it just not as profitable because you need a, a twisted bow to get uh, this? I don't know. I feel like Maybe the Bofa would have been okay, and the Dragon Hunter Crossbow would have been a good option. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully it's another boss video, but if not, it'll be another loot video from another monster. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, before I go, I wanted to mention this you only get these if you do Monkey Madness 2. Extra 200k. Okay, bye!